Hi, I'm Tim from Semtech, and today I want to show you something that we've just released. It's pretty exciting stuff. So it's a really small box, and we're really excited about the really small box because what is in this box is the world's smallest rugged 5G router. And we've got a long history at Semtech Sierra Wireless as a, a manufacturer of rugged devices. This is the brand new 5G router that we've got that is literally a third the size of our previous generation of 5G router. So this router means that we've got 5G in a package that can fit just about anywhere, can be used in a whole lot of applications, and as importantly as anything, is at a price that makes it possible to deploy 5G in all kinds of different locations. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what's in the box, and I've got a couple of things that I'm going to use to, to kind of demonstrate what it's capable of. But this is the brand new XR60. It's got some documentation that comes with it, quick start guides and things like that. There's not a lot in the box, but this is the important thing about what's in the box. This is, as I said, the world's smallest rugged 5G router. And you know, we can talk about what rugged means. Um, I think you all know what 5G means. And uh, as far as size, you know, if, if you're familiar with our previous generation of devices, you'll, you'll see the two bolts here. That's the same bolt pattern as our uh, RV and RX series. So one of our most popular routers ever. So this is the XR60, and you'll notice a few things about it. It's, this is the Wi-Fi version. It's also got serial, and it's got seven antenna connectors. So there's four 5G connectors. That's just standard for 5G. You need all four. Uh, it's because the uplink happens on a lot of different uh, antenna connections because of the way 5G is, is constructed and how the chipsets work. So essentially you need to have all four 5G antennas. And then this one's the Wi-Fi model, so you've got two Wi-Fi antenna connections, and then it's got a, a next generation GPS connection as well. It doesn't have dead reckoning, which you know some of our larger models have, but that was a size constraint. We, we chose to go instead with a second uh, generation, so a, a, a dual band GPS chip, but we'll talk about that later. So this is it. Um, and again, we've got two different models of this router. This is the, uh, the one that has one Ethernet port and one port that looks like an Ethernet port, but is actually a serial port. So we started doing this on our XR80 and XR90 routers. And the, uh, the Ethernet port is the one on the side here. It's a one gigabit per second Ethernet port. And the serial port is the next one over here. So it says on the label RS-232 but we've actually over delivered a bit and I don't think people are going to complain about this because the RJ45 based serial port is actually capable of doing one or two serial connections and the first one's always going to be RS-232 but for the second one you can choose RS-485 and there's a bunch of benefits to doing RS-485 in terms of the length of cabling it supports and a whole bunch of things like that but we're pretty excited this is the first one of our rugged series routers that we've ever done RS-485 and for customers that are doing a drop-in replacement for for something that's been in the field for a long time RS-485 is, is something that people are looking for. Now we do have a second version of this and I don't have one to show you here but uh, I'll try and put a picture of it in the, the video. There's a, another version of this that has two ports just like this only they are both Ethernet ports. So um, the, the first one is the one gigabit per second just as you see here and then the second one uh, instead of a serial port, we recognize not everybody wants serial, so the second port is, is actually a five gigabit per second port. So that's it. Um, this thing is, it's heavy. It's, it's a big chunk of cast aluminum and that's the way Sierra makes routers. It's designed to, to work in uh, inhospitable places and we're gonna talk later in, in future videos about what rugged means. But this is the kind of uh, router that I could take to the local car wash. I could drive my car so that it's sitting on top of this and I could start pressure washing my car with water spraying everywhere and this would just keep working. It also has a USB-C port, and the USB-C does roughly the same thing that we did on our previous 5G routers, except this one does more. And what I'm gonna do to show you that is, you know, we, we have the ability to do a five gigabit per second uh, network connection on the ethernet, or on the USB-C rather. But we also have the ability, and this is just a, a Dell battery pack that I can use for my laptop, but 
This also has the ability to boot up the router based on a USB-C power input. So it, it has what the industry calls power delivery inbound. So you, you see this uh, LED has just gone from red to amber. That means it's booting up and pretty soon you'll see it go to green and it'll, uh, it'll start flashing the other LEDs. So as long as you've got a, a USB power supply and it can be a battery pack, it can be a, a, a regular laptop kind of power supply, uh, 45 watts or better, you can power this thing up using the USB-C power. So this is the XR60. We're really excited about it and we think a lot of other people will be too.